Well, this must be a first for you to be back here being interviewed. Ooh, oops. <laughs> interviewed by a bunch of MMA journalists. How does it feel to be back here? Oh my God, it feels amazing. Like it's kind of like the dream come true. <laughs> and I hope it's just the first time and I'll be back very soon. <laughs> And I know that you have been talking about a transition to MMA for you know a little while, and there's been some some setbacks to that. Can you talk to us a little bit about some of the injuries that you've had um, in the last few years and how you were able to get back into shape? Yeah, so like uh, I'm used to fight a lot in the gi, but like I fall in love with the no gi um, a while ago, and as more as I did, I was like just like oh my god, that's what I want to do. And um, accomplishing all the like the gi and no gi tournaments uh, right now, like my focus is going to MMA career, and that's like uh, how I want to do. Like I live the athlete life and the competitor life, and to have the fire inside, I think I need to get the challenge. And so that's what I'm looking for, and that's why I'm going next to MMA to to find like that fighter uh, that's like inside of me and like. Uh, desire and like look for something that I haven't done yet and get it. <laughs> and what's the game plan as far as how you break into MMA? Do you plan on going real slow and doing an amateur fight and then a pro, you know, regional fight, or do do you want to get right in there, pro high level? Um, I think with my um, jiu-jitsu career, it's going to be really hard to get in like straight like like the the amateur because it's going to be hard for somebody to accept the fight. And but if it doesn't happen, I'm I'm good with going straight to professional. I think I'm ready, like my experience. And I'm just like gonna look for a good training right now, like get ready for my fight, my debut. And no matter what, I I think if I train and if I get ready. I will be getting done, like no matter what, like is the challenge that I'm gonna accept. Do you have a gym or a coach in mind for MMA yet? No, to be honest, not yet. Like I'm trying some uh, gyms to f see how I'm gonna feel, where I'm gonna feel comfortable. I think he, uh, more important than have like good coach and good training partner is where you're gonna feel comfortable. I think if I'm comfortable, if I'm happy, that's gonna be a good place to stay and like make it happen. So I, now I'm like in the nerd time, like studying where it's gonna be the best. And I know a few years ago, um, I spoke to you at, at Chris Cyborg's Pink Belt Fitness. Have you talked to her lately about um, transitioning to MMA? Has she given you any advice, or have you considered her to be your coach? Yeah, 100%. I have talked to Chris. Like she's man, one of the best in the world, and I'm sure she has a lot to help me with. And we've been in touch. Like she's one of my options to go and try. And but unfortunately, we've been like uh, out of like balance because it, all the time when I'm in the US, she's in Brazil or having a fight or when I have a fight, she's off. So we trying to fix a, a time to be together to train and to see how it's going to be, how we're going to feel. But 100% Chris is one of my options to go with. And what was it like grappling with Misha Tate? Man, it was interesting. Like it was a good match. Um, I knew we, um, my grappling would be a lot better, and I did everything that I was planning, like play guard, sweep, mount, back take. Uh, but it's just surprising me, just being the fence. I thought she would be a little bit more aggressive, but uh, I guess she could not too. <laughs> and being defensive, it's hard to take the submission. I knew it, but I was driving for it, trying it. But it didn't happen the, in the time, the, um, the regular time. But I knew going to overtime, like getting the army bar is one of my favorite positions, one of my strongest submissions. I knew I would get it. It was more about like being patient than, than anything else. And that's what happened. And I did submit, I did escape, and it was on the plan. And what's next for you? Do you have a, another tournament lined up, another match, or are you going to take some time off? Yeah, to be honest, I'm going to take some break, like after accepting this challenge again, like me, Asia, like, like the UFC champion, you know, uh, I feel like this was my next step to the MMA uh, the beauty. so uh, probably I won't do any grappling for now, I'm going to just focus on the MMA debut, like train MMA, like watch it, uh, check the, the, the place that I'm going to train at, and but right now, Christmas, New Year, family time, you know, just like chill a little bit. This year was very long. I did a lot of no gi competitions. And so now I just want a little bit of rest and then get ready for MMA because I'm pretty sure today I proved that I'm more than ready for that, fighting against one of the biggest names in MMA. And I show it. I'm ready. My jiu-jitsu is ready. Let's get it done.
And my last question, um, do you plan on continuing to compete in jiu-jitsu while you're training or fighting in MMA, or are you going to focus solely on MMA? No, I'm going to be focused on MMA. Like, I want to get, like, 100% ready. As I told, like, I, I don't mind the challenge that's going to come. I mind of getting ready for that. So I know no matter what's going to happen, if I'm able to focus and get ready, I will be ready for whatever comes for my debut. So that's what I'm going to focus 100%. I think like uh, my athlete career as a jiu-jitsu fighter was like, success successful because I was determined. I was focused and I, I was getting everything done the right way. And that's going to, the same thing is going to be done to the MMA career. So I'm going to focus 100% on that and get ready for what's about to come. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Just a couple quick questions. It sounded like, did you, or did Misha offer to do some training with you after you guys finished the match? I thought I heard her say something like, we should train together. <laughs> yes. Is that something that you're hoping to maybe take her up on? Yeah, that was exactly what happened. Uh, we actually did talk a little bit before of the fight when we was waiting cut, and but we had the match, so we focused on that. And right after, that's what we was talking about. Like she's gonna help him uh, um, with the striking. I'm gonna help with her grappling. And I think it's like it, this exchange. It's gonna be a lot uh, good for both of us. And her experience as an MMA fighter is like um, unquestionable. But um, as I am as the grappler, and I think it, we can help each others a lot so for sure she's another girl that I, I'm looking forward to train with and to to be part of my transition to MMA. Are you based in the United States or are you living in Brazil? Half and half. <laughs> so I live half like in Brazil where is my family, where is my hometown and I live half here. I just got my green card so I live half in America. It's a, such a good country that is like got me like with the heart since like 2007. So I feel comfortable to be here. I, I'm in California, San Diego, where it's like where I use it to train, to compete in Jiu Jitsu, all the Jiu Jitsu tournaments around. So I'm half there, half here. So I think that's like why it's gonna be easier to train a little bit here with all those like amazing MMA girls and just get like ready for the MMA. Is Vegas as a possibility? I know there's a lot, since a lot of fighters are here, the UFC is here, the Apex. Is Vegas as a possibility that you're considering relocating to as well? Yeah, hundred percent. Like I think after seeing like all the like uh, the UFC Apex, the UFC Institute, all like the place, I felt like in a playground. <laughs> so I feel like really comfortable. I think having all these like for the athlete to get ready, it's amazing. And hundred percent after seeing that, I feel like man, that's a good place to be at. Uh, maybe not in this cold because I don't really like cold, but for sure in the summertime, I I should be here, come to training, try out, and yeah, it's on my plan. And last thing, um, you know, obviously a lot of fighters that go on to the Contender Series or the Ultimate Fighter have a couple fights, but are those possible avenues that you've thought of as maybe ways that you could break into the UFC? Are those are those on the on the radar somewhere? Yeah, hundred percent. Like um, as I told, like right now, I'm, I'm not in rush to debut. Um, I knew that the, the fight today would open a lot of doors for me. So right now, like I'm just like watching the possibilities. There is a lot of like good chances to go. Like going to um, UFC Halsey, like the tournaments, they, the small tournaments they have, like everything. I'm open mind, and I'm gonna wait for the phone to ring. <laughs> Congrats on the victory. Thank you. Yeah, congrats on the on the win. You, let me circle back. You mentioned playground, um, just so I could be clear. Did you get to use the uh, Performance Institute at all, or how was the preparation in Vegas? Yeah, yeah, I did. Like I arrived on Tuesday, and I was able to to train here at the Apex. Uh, I used the gym to work out a little bit to do my training, jujitsu training. So, and then yesterday I did my weight cut in the in the institute. I the the meeting rules, everything was over there, so I could see how nice it is. Like the 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 place, like having like have everything together. You have a place to work out, you have a place to train, you have a place to recover. Everything in the same building, you know, like. So so for the athletes, I think that's all we need, like having everything concentrated where you can just like walk in, do, get your job done, walk out, you know, like, so that's like fantastic and something that I, I really look for to be part of. <laughs> Excellent. And as far as the weight goes, I know tonight you're at uh, 45. So would you stay at featherweight, try to shrink down to bantam? What would be, you know, kind of like gives a little picture of what you're gauging would be your fighting weight as far as like compared to grappling weight. 
Yeah, like for my, um, I did a lot of grappling fighter on 135 as well. Like I'm, the EBI belt that I have, it was at as a baton weight, 135. So I'm looking forward to debut as 135 because I think it's a good weight for me. I don't have to cut a lot. I cut a little bit, but I still have my physical ability, you know, like strong, strong and fast. Um, I consider dropping to 125 at some point, but I don't know yet because I've never done that low. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure I'm open for that. It's all going to depend on how it's going to be as 135 and then 125 later on. Uh, but in my debut, I'm looking for 135 because it's something I'm going to be comfortable with. Excellent. Look forward to me and, and look forward to it. And lastly, uh, you went up against, uh, it wasn't a full contact fight, but it was still a legend in the sport a pioneer, multiple organization champion, how was that mental compared to when you were in front of her on the mat and you're like, oh my gosh, like this is this is really happening. This is really <laughs> Yeah, like uh, fighting against me, it was like a huge challenge. Like when they called him and they they told me to fight. Um, first they called him and they say, hey, we want you to be part of the event. You know, like said, man. I don't want to be part of the event just like fight with a jiu-jitsu girl, you know? That's like what I've been done like my whole life. Why we don't do something different? And then like one week later they came, hey, do you want to go against me? I said, oh, yeah, now we're talking about that, you know? Like, so it was really nice. And I was like 100% ready like to, to accept the challenge. And I, I was so honored that she did accept because it, I know to be a, Champion as she is, she she is able to accept the challenge to go at. And grappling against me, I knew it was a, a a big challenge. So that's what I had in my mind because she accepted to come to my world, and that's where I have the dominance. And I knew that if I was able to put my game on, my pace, like my aggressive, that would be easy to to go on. But it was really nice because I could feel how it is an MMA fighter, you know, on the grappling, and that's something that I was like looking forward. I said, man, if I can go, if I can do good against her, man, nobody's gonna stop me. Like, in, doesn't matter if it has like the the contact, like the, the punches or no. But I feel that if I can put my jiu-jitsu against her, on, man, it's gonna be easy against anybody else. You know, I think she was one of the girls that most the the uh, grappling in the MMA. So I knew going against her, it would be like a good step to what I'm looking for. So it was amazing to uh, be able to face her tonight. Excellent. Well, besides good, you did great, actually. Thank Congrats you. Congrats on the win and look forward to seeing you debut one day. <laughs> Thank you. appreciate it. <laughs>